What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life. As you can see, we got the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 on deck, guys. And yesterday, we just got the beta. I know a lot of us have been waiting long. Like, we feel like we should have the full-on software, but we just got the beta program started for Android 15, One UI 7.0 for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. I am rocking it right now on my Z Fold 6. So I just wanted to share with y'all. Let's get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, I know a lot of you guys that's watching this video gonna wanna know probably how to get you know into the beta program for Samsung for the Z Fold 6 for Android 15. So basically what I did when I seen it was out, um, all I had to do was go to my apps and I went to the Samsung Members app. Now if you take a look at the Samsung Members app, if you look at the top, you're gonna see One UI Beta Program. Gonna go to this One UI Beta Program Click right there, and then you're going to enroll. I'm already enrolled, of course, because I got the beta software. Once you enroll, they'll let you know that you enrolled. And basically, what I did was, I don't know if I had to do it, but I just restarted my Z Fold 6, and the actual update was there. So as far as my Z Fold 6 goes, guys, I had this device set up kind of how I wanted it set up when I installed the beta. So I didn't notice a big difference when it came to installing Android 15. And I say that even for the S20, going from an S24 Ultra to an S25 Ultra, it's a couple different things, but not super big differences. Like you can see right now, I do have the large folder for apps. That's different. Um, actually, this widget for my S notes or my S Pen changed just a little bit, a little bit more bubbly, a little bit more circular. Probably the biggest uh, thing that I noticed when I swipe down is these settings right here. They look different, you know. They and you don't have your notifications here. So you swipe down towards the right. You're gonna just basically get a whole different control panel. Then if you swipe down from left. You basically don't have no notifications. You can see the devices do not disturb, but you swipe down from left and you're going to get your notifications. Now, as you can see, nothing really is set up. Now, now, right now, ain't nothing being broadcast through the now bar, so nothing is on the now bar. But, like, let's say you see that I don't have my actual panel of apps that I would normally have at the bottom, but if you open the app, they'll open up, as you can see. And I'll be honest with you guys, when it comes to One UI 7.0, it don't feel like a whole lot has changed as far as the Fold 6 go. Um, I noticed some little changes, like I'm just looking at different widgets as you can see. Now you got the large uh, group of widgets for your app drawer. And also, you got like also these little widgets right here that kind of look like a now bar. And you can set them up for like what you got going on today. And as you can see, nothing is going on today. Things of that nature. I don't see a whole bunch of difference. Now, when it goes to recent apps and things of that nature, it do got like a, a different animation going on. So, some animations are different. But, it is a lot under the skin that has actually changed. Let's go to the actual update. I'm going to go to the last update, guys. And as you can see, it's the One UI 7 beta. And it says welcome and all that. But then we just have a whole host of changes. Look like we got some Galaxy AI stuff. Visual enhancements. And I mean, everything just right on the forefront. Like for just looking at the device, you know, you might see some little small changes. But it's a lot that's right under the skin. That's how I feel about it. Uh, improved home screen landscape. Customizable year app. And widget style, new widget settings, larger home screen folders, easy access to folders, lock screen, and always on display. Now, this is, I didn't get to check out everything, guys, because I just actually put this software on the device. And I just want to show everybody how to get there. But it is a lot of changes. New uh, notification layout. Of course, I just showed you all that. It's some different changes in the camera so you definitely want to check that out and i'm gonna bring a full on probably when we get the official android 15 on here i'll bring a full on review or like a full on going through android 15 because you got to remember this is the first first beta you know pop you know we got some video editing changes uh manage your health better boost your productivity type stuff protect your security different ways of battery saving on this device so that's that's pretty cool you know uh improving battery getting a lot
longer battery life, even after the device been out eight months. I mean, but I feel like this is something that we should have been had. But as you can see, it's just a large amount of things that have been changed on the skin, but really not super noticeable as much. But right under the skin, a lot of stuff has been added, like a custom place labels, activity forecast. Just a lot of things have been tinkered with with this software. So like I said, I just wanted to show y'all how to get to it. If you want to try the beta out, it's been pretty stable for the, you know, the couple hours that I've used it. I haven't had any issues or any things of that nature, but I just wanted to show y'all it's here. Um, I'm trying it out and as it gets more, you know, closer to the full on beta, that's when I'll really get into it and show y'all what's here. I feel like some things may be missing. This is just the early first beta. This is your boy BG Tech Life. Go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. I was just showing y'all beta 7.0. One UI 7.0 beta is here. Android 15. I'm out. Peace.